Hey everybody, this is Barry with Southern RV. We're coming at you from our sales lot here in McDonough, Georgia. And I have in front of me the Alpine 3650 RL. This is a 2021 model from Keystone. This is rated for full-time use, so you can live out of this RV. It's warranted as such. It's got a lot of cool features on it. It has the standard six-point hydraulic level up. You can see now that I'm standing under these massive awnings. We've got two of them. They're electric. They roll way out. They cover almost the length of the coach. Up front, we've got some good storage space here. Tie-downs inside. And TV hookups there as well. There is LED lighting out here to give it a nice vibe at night. As we head towards the entrance, you'll see that we've got our solid step entry. Now that we've seen the outside of the coach, let's jump in and take a look at what's going on inside. So inside the coach, we have this very spacious feeling front room that contains the kitchen and the living room. As soon as we come through the front door, we have a closet. Now this could just be a coat closet, but it does have washer dryer hookups off to the left there. So we could put a stackable washer dryer in here and take up that space. Directly behind me here, we have a small storage unit. But more importantly, we have our controls for the coach up here. We have a touchpad that's going to give us full control of the lighting system, as well as access to all of our other amenities. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot while we're looking at it. This does have an intervac system, so it's got an onboard vacuum cleaner. Our kitchen is very residential. We have a Samsung refrigerator, stainless steel front. Check out this great hood that's on the, the range here. We've got a three burner stove top, a decent sized oven down below from Furion. Our kitchen has some cool features. All of our surfaces are solid. As far as the countertops go, we've got stainless steel sinks. Got a small one there and a decently big one as well with sink covers just to give you a little more storage space. They've thought about your trash. Pull out two trash cans there. Lots of good drawers for storage. One of the things that they do that I like is they give you a little coffee nook. So they put this solid surface here and we've got power in the back. So you can set up your coffee maker and have it ready to go in the morning. Pretty slick and it all hides away very nicely. Right above that we have our microwave which is also a convection oven. So doubling up on your oven space there. Moving into the living room we have a nice big TV from Jensen. This one's vibration and road tested. It's great for this type of coach. A Furion headset which is going to play DVDs. Down low, we have our fireplace. This is cool because it blows out. It can be just a vent or a fan, or it can actually blow out hot air as well. It has several lighting modes too that we can run through, whether it's blue and blue and yellow, or just a straight blue flame or a straight yellow flame. You've got options to create some ambiance in the room. This couch is also a trifold sofa. So this is gonna pull out and create a king bed if you ever had any guest in the house. Very nice, very comfortable. Across from that, Thomas Paine recliners, theater seating. We've got the cup holders. These are vibrating and heated, so they massage and they get warm. It's very nice in the winter or even just after a long day. 
Our table in four is kind of cool because it's got some hidden features as well. If we look here, the table's on a strut and it's got some storage down low. This is also built to extend out to give your table just an extra bit of room. That way, if you do have four people sitting at it, it doesn't feel too, too crowded. I do like some of the features that they put in here, like the Edison bulbs up over the counter. It's very nice. It just gives it a very residential, modern look. So for a lot of people, going up and down stairs can be a problem. They've added this nice big steel handrail. And as we push up onto the upper platform, one of the first things we come to is the bathroom. This bathroom is very spacious, has a one-piece fiberglass molded surround with a seat, solid surface countertops. As you can see, we've got storage hiding here, so you can put all your towels and excess materials for using in the bathroom. We've got a foot flush, high to Dometic toilet there. When we push into the bedroom, I really like this bedroom because they've got the window up front. We've got his and her hanging closets on either side of the window. There's some storage down below those in the form of drawers and cabinets as well as like a little makeup shelf there. There is a shade that does pull down over this in case you don't want it to be also light. The back of the headboard is padded. It gives a nice look to the bedroom as well as something as an extra insulation at the back of the slide. Across from the bed, we have another point of entertainment. We've got a small 15 inch series Jensen flat screen TV, more storage down low, and then a bench seat for getting up and putting on your shoes in the morning. The bench seat lifts this on a piano hinge. There's storage behind it. All of our windows have roller shades. There are blackout shades as well as day-night shades. So we've got the little black screen that drops down there too. You guys, if you like this camper, definitely come out and see us at Southern RV. We're in McDonough, Georgia. You can visit us here uh, at our dealership or you can give us a call 770-477-0552. Until next time, happy RVing.